thank you to everyone who's calling. Um, we have news which is uh, being uh, pointed out to us. There is apparently a flight which has taken off from Melbourne Airport but is not heading off for its destination. It's just sort of doing circles up in the sky here in Melbourne. So thank you to everyone who is calling in about well, I'm um, a little bit concerned at the moment. Uh, there's a flight going around Melbourne, QR905. It's been circling around Melbourne for about 40 minutes, and it's an A380. Yep. And it's, uh, it's supposed to be going Melbourne to Doha, but it's been circling. I just had a caller during the uh, the ad break there uh, yeah. tell me off air that it went over the it went over Baldwin so low that the house was shaking. It's a, yeah, it, it's uh, it, it it was it's very very low. At the top. Right, it seems to be circling around the bay, and it's uh, doing laps around the bay. It must be dumping fuel. But I wonder what's going on with it. Brian Wilson's in the newsroom now, looking into it for us to see what we can find out. In fact, let me hit the intercom here. All right, Simon. Look, uh, what we've got is we've got a Qatar A380 at the moment that has uh, departed. It actually has uh, believed to be some sort of problem with its landing gear at this stage. It looks as though it's just a warning light. Yep. What it'll do, it'll continue to track around Melbourne, out to the bay and out to sea. It'll dump fuel and then it'll come back into Melbourne and it'll land, which will be an overweight landing, but that's okay. Everything's on standby for it, but at this stage, it's not expected to be an emergency landing or anything like that. Just one of those normal precautions Just that take. One of those things, yes. So for people concerned about the fact that it's flying around, it's dumping fuel, which is the thing you do, because if you are going to land an aeroplane in anything other than perfect conditions, you don't want to have a belly full of fuel in it in case you, know, in case you bottom out or something? Well, well, the, the, the issue is that uh, when you take off, particularly uh, you know, heading for somewhere like Doha or somewhere like that, you actually have an enormous amount of fuel. And it's mm. great to take off heavy, but you can't land simply because you've got all of that weight. So yeah. what it will be doing, it will be heading out. It will increase slightly in altitude. It will actually perform a whole series of tracks backwards and forwards and around Melbourne, uh, dumping the fuel out to sea, which it will vaporise before it actually comes down to the ground anyway or, or into the water, and then it will then track in and land at Melbourne Airport. Excellent. And as you say, just a landing gear, a warning light has come on for the landing gear, so they're just doing this as a precaution? At this stage, it's just precautionary. The pilot a few moments ago advised the air traffic controller that he did not believe that he would need uh, emergency facilities. So Excellent. at this stage, it, it'll probably just be, I guess, a, a little bit of noise overhead for probably the next 20 or 30 minutes at least. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for that, Brian. That very quick work. You only finished the bullet in a couple of minutes ago. I'm glad I could help you out. Wasn't that amazing that, you know, you make this call from your observation deck uh, and I'm, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm working with one of the network's geniuses who within a minute was able to tell me exactly what this was. I think that's, uh, that's the way radio uh, should work, Molly. Thank that's you. Many calls still ringing in about the uh, aeroplane. Just for those who have not heard, there is a, an aeroplane that is currently circling low over the city of Melbourne. It has taken off from Melbourne Airport. Uh, it has simply just had a warning light come on. Uh, I'll tell you what's happened over the last minute. We had Molly ring from her observation deck to say, you know, there's a plane circling. I've done... I've gone to my iPad and looked at the radar and I thought, well, there's no plane there. What's going on here? Uh, as I say, one of the network's geniuses was able to tell me in 60 seconds it was a Qatar Airlines uh, plane that was returning. And then Molly posed the brilliant question, what happens to the fuel? And I'm sitting here going, oh, I've got no bloody idea. And then in my ear comes uh, one of the network's geniuses saying it vaporises before it hits the water. It was Brian Wilson from our Melbourne newsroom. 131873 is the number to call. Melbourne's 3AW 693. The captain of a Qatar Airways A380 bound for Doha with 350 passengers and 29 crew on board made the decision to return to Melbourne Airport when a warning light appeared shortly after takeoff. As the aircraft flew over the city, air traffic controllers were advised that emergency services would not be required. Negative. Uh, just to advise you, we will require uh, to do an auto land and uh, we might also be doing an overweight landing. The aircraft circled over the middle of the bay for almost an hour, dumping around 90 tonnes of fuel before receiving a clearance to land. Qatari 28 November, runway 16, clear to land. The aircraft landed safely. The airline is making arrangements for its passengers. In Melbourne, Brian Wilson, 9 News.